Hello, everybody! Yay! Welcome to the Rhythm Cafe here on the Mighty Loading Ready Run Video Entertainment Network. First stream of the day on Sunday, right? Yes! <laughs> Absolutely, yep. Ian. You know I never stream any other <laughs> stream before on today without you. Uh, sh shouldn't leave the cafe, the, the cafe window open like that. Or, <laughs> or have the cafe microphone. That's how you get, it. The... How you get flies. Hey, welcome everyone, and welcome to Life Character, who subscribed with eight months under their belt saying first stream, best stream? The answer is no to both those questions. I think only the last part was the question. Well, this, this is not the first stream, or this is the first stream? This is the first stream, but is it the best stream? That's a, I, I will... No. <laughs> <laughs> it is a very good stream, but, but categorically this is not the best stream. I disagree, but that okay. is okay. We allow a lot of opinions at this cafe. Mm, well, Iko and Ma give an opinion, because they've been subscribing for 41 months in a row, and the opinion they have to share is totally the only stream that happened on Sunday. See? Again, fully opinion. <laughs> hey guys, we're playing Beat Sneak Bandit here today, which is an iOS game, which meant uh, that I completely forgot the adapter that allows me to use iOS yeah. things. And it's right there in my key dish next to the... Uh, Next to the the way out of my house door, that's what we call them. I honestly had just forgotten <laughs> what a door was. <laughs> Sector eighty. I, I have a question for you yeah. about your door. Uh, do you need a large two-legged robot with an eye to leave your house? A large two-legged robot with an eye to leave my house. Yes, that becomes your door. Oh! Do you, do you need one of those to get through your door? No. Oh, okay. That's probably a good thing because they're really hard to make. Yeah. I mean, normally you, you have people as butlers to open your door for you. Not, not robots. <laughs> uh, <laughs> speaking of robots, Secretary asks, are you hyped for WWDC tomorrow? Yes. Did you watch all the new episodes of Gun and Thunderbolt? No. I see this is this is gonna be the trend, right? We only answer questions if they come in pairs now. <laughs> sure. Does Heather have braces? Yes. I've never noticed them before. That's not a question. Next questions. <laughs> let's uh, play a game. Yes, let's do that. I'm gonna hit this button. Mm -hmm. Are you prepared? I am ready. Three, two, one, smock. Hey, it's Simigo. Welcome oh, back, I me. Should unmute the game yeah. audio. Hey, you know who I am on Game Center. Please don't at me. This game is only playable with the sound switched on. Good thing we did that. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been awkward. Does it get louder, or do we need to make Who's better? on first? What filling is the best filling for pierogies? Who? Uh, who? Yeah, uh, yes, and potato? Cheese. Yes. 100%. Anyway, Ooh, we're in Pulsebury, bandit. the bandit's hideout, and we have a prompt. Tonight in Pulsebury news, this one? the monkey wears a top hat and rides a skateboard for a living. That should be more than enough. Thank you. Paul's been in here running a cable for us to have the lovely... Uh -huh. Goodbye! <laughs> Paul's been running a cable in for us to, for us to do this. And now it it's, works. Now it's it all works. good. It's fine. When you, when you plug in a power, Why it starts I to flip stack us? on the screen. That's weird. I can't get the camera to flip us. Uh, it's saying it's doing it, but it's not. We're, we're not being. Uh, you're not on the right. Oh, you're on. Yeah, you just you've been. Uh, uh, <laughs> Click it on here. Yeah. Uh, so farther down. down. You you were flipping the effects. Oh. Whoops. You want the Logitech HD Pro webcam C920? Now you know, and you don't need to ask that question. Great. Nope. I always do the wrong one first. Perfect. There we go. There we go. Sorry, we, we're, we're looking this way, which when the flip it makes us look like we're looking away from the game and shunning it, and I, it, it bothers me. So we got this frog and this guy watching Tony Hawk, and... Mustache becomes self-aware and takes dancing lessons. But first, some breaking news. Okay. All the clocks, clocks are, are gone. gone. Is this just Quirpline the game? My, I think it might be true. I don't have a watch. <laughs> I mean, I don't wear a watch normally, but I think I'd have one if the clocks were still here. <laughs> I'm really liking this guy's face, actually. It's very Muppet. Yeah, yeah that, that's what I'm getting from this. This is a real Muppet vibe. 
I don't know when it's lunchtime anymore. I'm so hungry. Brushed my teeth for an hour this morning. That's Wait, what? Too oh. much. Oh, you're one of those people who watches the clock for two minutes while wow. you do your brushing. Two, two minutes? You're supposed to brush your teeth for like okay. two minutes. I thought or it was something. like three minutes. Um, I, I I don't know. I got I, it off of a TV yeah. commercial, I don't and those at, are always lies. I don't look at the clock. My toothbrush has a built-in timer. It just goes until it goes, rat, rat, rat. and then I have clean teeth. Mm. All evidence leads to the mysterious Clockwork Mansion, home, home of Duke, Duke clock. Clockface. Wow, everything was wonderfully creative until now. We get... no, no, Duke Clockface is still good. Is he a Duke? Are He's you clearly a Duke. Lying that I need clocks to build a time freeze device. That's absurd. Did we, Did we imply something? I don't think we even asked him anything. I just think we put a microphone in his face. Wow. Herbie. Poor Herbie. The clear afterthought. Nah, Herbie's clearly the protagonist in this. <laughs> Why is his name so small then? Um, because he's a little guy. Okay. I, I can buy that. Hey, Mama, I can sneak. Oh, no, we need to unlock the first chapter. Oh, is that what that was? I thought that was a tutorial. <laughs> I think this level will be the tutorial. Tap to the beat. Tap anywhere. Goal. Answer. Oh, up top, there's the button. Okay, hacking into the Duke's intercom. Let's tap anywhere and you'll take a sneaky step. Type beat when you're facing the wall or door, and you'll do a jazzy little turn. So yeah. it's like a lemmings. So forward tap, only. Tap. Everything's moving to the beat. Everything is looping. <sighs> Get that big, fat, juicy clock. I don't like your nickname. B did it was weird. Hey, it's me again. Just wanted to check up on the small I mean it was the smaller clocks. Yes I have. Um Sure. We well maybe we'll go to jail? Is that a good thing? No no if we steal all of them. Uh, then he will never notice that there were clocks missing because That's they'll all be gone. Right. See, the thing is, if he stole all the clocks, but he says he hasn't stolen all the clocks, if we steal the clocks, he can't tell people we stole clocks That's he didn't right. have. And he'll just forget the whole concept of clocks until he sees them again. And he'll forget the whole concept of time. Oh. So he will forget that we can move. Oh, he'll never know. But yeah. Or they'll unlock secret rooms. Like in a video game. Uh oh. If you're sneaking is offbeat. The one on the same floor as you will go. Wow. Ah. So they're also time bomb clocks. Why are we stealing time bombs? I want to get that clock. And like real life, you can ignore the phone. Yep. Well, we'd already heard his message. Sneaky! Groove um, on. Yes, that is a groove on. Do never do it again. Ah! I, I dropped the phone. I just pass it over to Heather. Okay, I think uh, chapter two is. Yeah. Mansion there number two. Yeah, it does give me a, uh, a Dexter's vibe or Dexter's lab vibe. Mm hmm. Yeah, Gennady Tartovsky, that's who this reminds me of. What do you want? Oh no! Oh no! It's I the, shouldn't have answered this! It's the Duke! My friends call me Sir Duke. Do they really? Is he the guy from, like, that song? About feeling good? Hold on, hold on, it's a tip my tech, it's a Stevie Wonder song. That song. It's about feeling good. It's about feeling good. I wish. There we go. It was the theme to Disney's The Kid. You know that, that movie sure. with the biplane? Uh, 
Yes. Sure, I know exactly <laughs> what you're talking about. Duke Ellington. There we go. Yes. Uh, yes. Let's see, security lights to make rhythm patterns. It's more fun like that, sure. Hmm. So don't get caught by lights. Oh no. All right, rabbits. Sounds like fate to me. Oh. Oh no. I didn't think it was going to come up that bad. Busted. Uh, I thought I was supposed to get fed to a thing. Mm. Liar. How do you feel right now? Uh, hungry, but I don't know what time it is. Well, that's... I don't. I don't know what line you I wanted. Mean, no, no. The, the reason is that Bustin makes me feel good, but you, you, you were the one who was busted. Oh, so. I see. I don't trust the light. Five o'clock, there's fish everywhere. Nice. So one of my clocks blew up. Oh no. Yeah. Every forward. No sense going back. Alright, no, 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 I can lean back while playing this. Alright. Give me more of them beats. Oh no, now there's security. Dag gummit, it seems I lost the connection there for a while. I'm a frog. Oh, check it, the Duke's got security guards. Maybe you can watch the routines and sneak by when there's an opening. By the way, I think you can change direction if you sneak up behind him. Just try it out. Oh, so you can use some, like, a wall then. Cool. <laughs> I have a statement! You look like a thief! Was he the Night Watch? Also messed up a clock. No! <laughs> My accidental win! Point you just win by accident. Yep. Sneaky. Care to groove on? Well, I don't want to do it again. Yeah, it's got rhythm. It's definitely got rhythm mechanics I've never played before. I've I've seen games like this. I just I've never tried one. It's it's very simple. Um, it's it's good. But this is definitely I would qualify as. If I if I were no. ah. <laughs> if I were classifying this game, I would call this more. I would puzzle first and then rhythm afterwards. Oh yeah, the silliness of this super good. I won't speak for all of us, but I, I think you'll agree with me that this has the kind of plot that we like in a game. <laughs> Get down! Groove on. <laughs> yeah, like I do like 
Collected ten small ch clocks. That's enough to play the new shadow, shadow stage. stage. Huh. Hmm. Shadow. Turn it, bandit. I, I don't know how this game could have co-op. Ah, the game's up to the, uh, the difficulty degree here by making you not be able to go back up to the top. Mm. Oh, and the clock's gone now. I do think it's interesting that it's got it's got it's got consequences for like screwing up, but also like just heavy fail consequences as mm -hmm. well. But they're they're both very obvious, as opposed to like some games where you're never sure. If you're doing a thing where you, you're just gonna die, or yeah, like it, it feels like the path is leading you directly to the main clock. Like this See? does feel well thought out. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm gonna go upstairs first and then come down. Oh, so then I can't turn around. Oh no, I can't. Oh, okay. <laughs> Almost. Good. Well, you were seen. So I'd also recommend that if you're interested in playing this game and you have an iOS device, uh, do grab this and play it as soon as possible because it looks like it requires an update for it to be able to work on uh, the next version of iOS, which means that it's probably only 32-bit. And so yeah, if you want to play this and you have an iOS device, you might not be able to if you leave it past September. Oh no! Phew. He was confused for a second, but you got it! I, I blew up two clocks. It was really annoying as I blew up the one clock as I was a step away from it and I had gone through all the effort of going up to the top and not getting slotted. Mansion Boogie. I'm glad there's no penalty for just sitting and examining the way that the uh, the level works. Oh, like taking too long and so, yeah. like, countdown timer. So I noticed as well the top in the middle has the beat going. Mm -hmm. If you if you lose it, I believe our frog friend mentioned that as well. Did he? I wasn't paying attention to him. Good good choice, to be honest. Oh, he can see through walls. Or maybe not. It might not have come down in time. He sure did. Oh, okay. Button. Oh, which means you have to go over where yep. the... Yep. Okay.
-hmm. I think you have just enough time after the bar comes down because he f and it goes up before he flips. Or maybe not. I was sneaky. <laughs> the door slide. Wow, Stropple looks much better now that they dropped that weird branding. To make sure to get all your. Oh no! Oh, there's two. There's two buttons. Oh, okay. There's one at the bottom and one at the top. I'm gonna hit the one at the bottom because there's a phone over there. You can't lock away or miss a big clock. That's nice of you. Uh -huh. When time switch up and things look impossible, I try to remind myself of that. Even the Duke himself can sometimes get frustrated. <laughs> like oh. when people try to steal my clocks, what they just happen to find lying around in your fair city. Hey Heather, hmm? did you know that there's two different Stropples? The site, stropple.com and stropple.me? I know. Yeah. And it's, yeah, me I is the one that looks Effie. Interesting, huh. thank you to G Dwarf who pointed that out. Alright. Okay, so I do have to hit that button again. Get across. also strawpole.de. Well, sure. Oh, that's cut.com, okay. I'm not sure, though, with the strawpole.com does, uh... What's it called? There's a word I'm looking for, and that word is... Auto-refreshing. So I know that strawpole.me uh, does that. I mean, DE is the dot com of EU. So, makes sense. No, screen up. Pencil Stroke asks Ian and Heather, can you please explain to me the appeal of rhythm games for you? I'm gonna say that's two questions because it's one question for each of us. Okay. Unless that's a question for both of us to answer, in which case that would be difficult for us to do, so we won't be doing it. Because we've decided only double questions today, which probably will only last until the break. Anyway, um, for me. I mean, that was just a joke. The appeal of rhythm games, uh, like in general, I like music, and I like it when music interacts with uh, with gameplay because I like games. I don't like. I guess for mo normal people, they just interact with music by dancing. But boy, do I hate being at the club, and I'm not good at dancing, and I also don't like exerting myself that much because I am a nerd and lazy. Uh, not that all the nerds are lazy, and... Anyway, point is, uh, yeah, it's, it's a way that allows me to interact with music in game form and experience all the other things that, uh, that come from games, like, uh, story, visuals, and just the sense of, uh, of accomplishment when you finish a game, because that's something you can get. So I guess that's, that's me. So what was the question? What 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 is it that uh, appeals to you about rhythm games? Oh, 
Okay. Um, a lot of the rhythm games I like, it's because the story's interesting, the art style's really interesting, and it's very different. But they also tend to be shorter games, so I can get through them really quickly. <laughs> but I also really like... I use rhythm games to zone out. Because I can get very narrowly focused on what, what's going on in a rhythm game, and you can't... You can't get distracted when playing a rhythm game. At least I can't. <gasps> there's so much going on. Heather, you can you can bop them on the head. Oh. And so, like, if I'm actually like really stressed out, or uh, like I need to block everything from my mind completely, I will play a rhythm game because I can do nothing but pay attention to what is going on that screen. Hmm. So I actually find them really meditative. That's why I really like them. That's two. That's a neat mechanic. They've gone with... Because you're using them as a floor space, too. Yeah. New shadow stage. Do the button push shuffle. That's, oh my goodness. This sounds infuriating. I should ask Paul how far I got into this game because I remember <laughs> him saying he never finished it. He really, he, he was big on suggesting this game to us. Okay. Buttons are up top and bottom and then middle. Oh my. Okay. Well, let's see how you do this. I gotta go forward. Perfect. Unlock me back. Hit that, and then I'll go up here, and I can go forward and just do that if I want, but ultimately I don't want to. Hmm. Okay. Modeling likes rhythm games because they can be really hard, but also have really tight controls. That's, yeah, I, I enjoy the games that have the tight controls. Unfortunately, playing them on stream generally means we don't get access to those tight controls due to the delays, but... Uh, I think that's one thing that differentiates what I like about rhythm games from what uh, other people say they like about them. And uh, I don't like the hardness. I oftentimes. Yeah. Oh, oh no! There was a light Lights. up there. I totally blanked on that. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't get much joy out of being really good at video games. Right. Why do I keep blinking on that? I just, like, forget the lights are there. You win! Well, I got there. <sighs> Whoops. <laughs> Accidentally completed a level. It's okay, we got enough stars to do all the shadow stages, I think. Well, two of them. In the first chapter, anyway. Well, I see... Shadow Mansion 1. Half Pyramid Jam. Let's do it. Sounds neat. I like... I like rhythm games that have different difficulty settings. Uh, because I do enjoy doing some harder levels. Never anything up to the extent of like generally what gets listed to say extreme, but I will play some of those because I I like feeling like I can accomplish some of them. I also accidentally level. <laughs> <laughs> I really like the aesthetic on these shadow stages though. Everything's actually in shadow. 
twin strut. Oh yeah. Oh wow, yeah. The music's different too. Mm -hmm. I also accidentally level. No, yeah, not completely. You yeah, have a single clock. That's true. I'm so I'm terrible at head and accidentally <laughs> leveling. It's okay. It's uh, good enough. Um. Yeah. Like I do like higher difficulties. I don't generally do them on stream because it's a lot of concentration I need. Mm. And I find when we do the higher difficulties, people are just like, "Oh, you don't look like you're having fun," because you're doing a concentration phase. That's generally just like. Because there's a little bit of frustration on a higher level that you're trying to get. Wow. You gotta pay attention. Mr. Bandit, I hope you're enjoying my cozy little basement. Noticed my new toy on the floor below, did you? I imported the state-of-the-art vacuum busters from overseas to clean my dusty old basement. But they're also useful when it comes to seeking out and catching little thieves. And here I just thought it was like some kind of weird sky coffee machine. Bam! Because it looks like it could make me coffee. <laughs> is is that your first thought when you look at a new device or person? Why or person? I don't just thought of, can that person make me coffee? I don't think that about people, but I do often think that about devices, because I'm like, I bet I could make coffee. I think you should you should incorporate that in. Next time you're sitting at a table at a convention, just ask yourself, is that per is that person able to make me coffee? Not will they. Not are they, but can they? <laughs> But I don't want them to, I don't like coffee. <laughs> Again, you're not asking whether they will or not. You don't have to deal with that part of the question. It's just a world of possibilities. coffee abilities. Possicofities. Passamaquati. It's a deep cut for all you Pete's Dragons fans out there. Okay, I think I can start now. <laughs> Laughing and trying to play a rhythm game are two bad things. Yep. Oh my goodness. Actually, now that I look at this mansion, I'm very disturbed by the knife and fork behind me. <laughs> oh wow, yeah. There's some uh, Beauty and the Beast shit going on here. Alright, let's see. If I go forward, I'll go up. Go here, drop down, get to that. And then I gotta go back up. Okay. I can't remember, did Pete's Dragon get remade? It did! Ugh. 2016. Okay, yeah, no, I'm talking about the 1977 Pete's Dragon, kids. Let's, uh, let's be clear here. Share some DNA with uh, uh, Crypt of the Necromancer, I'd say.
Loading ready run. Or, that's us. Loading ready run says, if someone makes you feel uncomfortable, first you say no, then you get out of there. No, I got sucked into the coffee so machine. <laughs> Why did I call it coffee machine? The vacuum cleaner. <laughs> oh, it's a coffee machine now. It's just a floating, <laughs> floating thing of Joe. Um. <sighs> Pencil Stroke asks, if you could remake a game from your childhood with modern graphics and technologies, what game would you choose? I am going to think about that while you continue to do this. Uh, nope. Uh, mm. Well, I accidentally fin I got... Yeah, you accidentally leveled. We're, we're all yeah. good. We had a question for you, actually. A mm -hmm. uh, quick question. How far did you get in this game? Uh, I think I just got to, like, the beginning of, like, the second area. Ah, okay. okay. It's it was... Yeah. I, uh, I, 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 dug a, I dug the game, but um, considering that you guys are Ready in the second area. Clearly, you're better at it than I am. Yeah. It's like your professional rhythm game player. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, yeah, I don't have I, much rhythm. <laughs> Oddly enough, the rhythm is probably the least concerning part of this. I, I, I find my failure usually comes to my impatience or just complete neglect of what's going on rather than the rhythm. Yeah, I keep forgetting this about is. the security lights. Mm. And I got sucked up by the coffee machine. The coffee maker is definitely the problem. Mm. The flying coffee maker? Yep. I'm glad we're all on the same page there. See, it looks like a coffee maker. And then there's this what? frog. Oh, what? apparently I'm supposed to ask this now. Can you make coffee? Can I make coffee? Yeah. That's Probably. Honestly, I've never tried. Oh, okay. <laughs> can, can he make you coffee? I don't want him to make me coffee, though. Well, I feel like I, I thought could, the question was just if people could make following, coffee. Following a set of instructions, I feel like I could. <laughs> In fact, if you watch Tinker Taylor from a few weeks ago, uh, Serge gave a great uh, tutorial on how to make coffee. Yeah, it's, it's true. I feel like if I watch that, I, I could then make coffee. Hmm. But honestly, I have never made coffee. Hmm. So that's an interesting conundrum to that question, then, is that we have a... Uh, you feel you can, but we haven't yeah. collapsed that waveform yet. Hmm. Yeah. I feel like, who knows? <laughs> I might be amazing at making coffee. Mm -hmm. Like, I might be some sort of coffee-making savant. Oh, that'd be neat, right? And that could just be locked away. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's the thing. If you don't try, then it remains a mystery forever. It's like, I, I remember, I, we got, uh, our, I got uh, Dark Souls, like, three, mm -hmm. four... Uh, new day for for eighteen games and counting when James wasn't here. Oh no! Uh, and so I played it. It was fun, but there's that thing where it was like, as long as I never played Dark Souls, I was like, maybe I'll be awesome at it. And everyone's like, this is a super hard game, but then I'll play it and I'll be like super crazy good at it for no reason. Mm -hmm. Did not seem to be the case. <laughs> it's a good thing they're very different skill sets. Making yeah. coffee and playing Dark Souls. Strangely, a lot of use of parrying when making coffee, though. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Rock Pusher, for those 100 bits that you snuck in there. 100 bits in solidarity for those of us lacking in rhythm. <laughs> anyway, I hope uh, I hope the game works out for you. It's been going good so far, so. And uh, I will see you folks tomorrow. Tomorrow, yes. Yeah. Chat on tomorrow for WBGC. Mm. Yep, then. Yes. Bye, Paul. Have a good night. WWDC tomorrow at 10 a.m. And checkpoint tomorrow at probably one ish. One p.m. I believe is the time that they post. Mm -hmm. So yeah, no. The idea is that uh, whether or not a person can make coffee is one thing, but if they can make it for you, that's the real. What's key. difference? What's the difference between a person who can make coffee and a person who can make coffee for me? It, it's it's the addition of the X factor of you. But if I don't like coffee, why would I want a person to make coffee in? Why are you a puzzle today? It's just a theoretical... No! You're making this weird for no reason. Anyway, um, there was a question about what game... Wow, that guy's eyes in the background move on the painting. We are in Harry Potter world. I hope he can't see you. 
Because that's going to make things difficult. <laughs> that See? was interesting. I hadn't seen that, anim that animation before. See? You get sucked right into it. Okay, so we need to let the thing move a bit more. The x is making coffee for a non-coffee person. It takes a lot of motivation to make something for someone that does not want it. It does not take a lot of motivation to make a thing for a person who doesn't want the thing that you're trying to give them. Trust me, I do it all the time, and they don't like it. And if it's, to, if it's to try and make coffee that I will like, Surge has tried and failed, so... No. Okay, it can move on its own. That's that's mean. Uh, okay, the question about was about. Hey, bandit. Maybe oh, we should skip the stage for now. Oh. Interesting. I didn't want oh, to hey, that. I didn't know James was in this game. <laughs> Famous YouTuber James Tuner. Yeah. Okay, so it can get me even there. So it only goes that far and then goes back. Oh, you're gonna wanna jump on the head. Yep. Okay, interesting. Hole. Answering, I've been answering this question for 10 minutes. Um, wow. <laughs> I, so DuckTales already got remade, which was nice. I enjoyed that. Um, geez, I would love to see... So we're getting a remake of Blaster Master, apparently. And I really enjoyed Blaster Master as a kid. I never played... I never actually finished it because I didn't own it. We just ended up renting it a couple of times. But that could be a lot of fun if it was... Uh, Two things. If it was made, made properly with both vehicle and uh, the walk-around mechanics, and how those differentiated. Oh, okay. But yeah. I'd also like to have sort of the lightheartedness and the story of the uh, the novel of Blaster Master, done by FX9, the pen name for internet uh, marketing genius Seth Godin. that I needed him and I didn't you need to, to turn into around. His butt. Yeah. And you just need to hit the beat. Yeah. Yeah, I realized too late. I was like, okay, and then I'll need to turn around. Oh shoot, I mm -hmm. whoops. <laughs> so what game would you like to have remade from your childhood? So let's see. What how do we define childhood? I would assume you're your what, what childhood. What age group? Uh, do we, how far in age do we go for that? I would call it anything under under eighteen. To be okay. Honest. Okay. Um. Uh. Then I could probably say. Um. Pokemon Snap, because that would have been when I was still a kid. Yeah. Wow. That's which a good would, answer. Which would be really be good. Well, because I'm thinking about all the games I played as a kid. And, you know, I played, like, Super Mario, and I really feel like that's just been made a number of times. Um, I've played Sonic, which they've proven they should just stop trying to remake. And 
Other than that, I played like Bible Adventures, which no one wants ever again. Um, other games I get, I played. I played Bubsy the Bobcat, but I don't really think I'd want more of that. Like, really, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think maybe just something like Pokemon Snap I would be really good. I would love, um, especially with. So like they they were bring they brought out Pokemon Go. Mm -hmm. What I really wanted was Pokemon Snap on like a phone or the 3DS using the AR. Oh, that would be cool. Right, like where you can go around and take pictures of the Pokemon, as opposed to going around and trying to really catch. Pokemon. Yeah, that would be really cool with the AR. I but on the other hand, can you imagine an open world like take uh, Hyrule from the uh, from the latest game? Mm -hmm. Just shake up the data a bit so it's slightly different. And then populate it with Pokemon, and you have a, an open world to go around and take Pokemon, uh, pictures of Pokemon. Yeah, I'd be fine with that too. That would that would all be good. I just think it would be really neat to do it with the AR. Yeah. Because it's like cameras are on so many devices. Now, yeah. And it doesn't seem like it would be that difficult to do. Says the person who's never made a video game in her life. <laughs> We should do that sometime. We should stream a game jam here at Loading Ready Run, where we all have to make our first game. Those of us who haven't. Hmm. Okay, where am I going? Green switch. That way, go that way, that would make me go up, then I could go up there. Whoa, this is... Alright, I'll just start going then. Yeah, the Sheikah Compendium with Pokemon Snap, that would make it. That would give you good. As a juror, is I... Yeah, I actually might just take that as an idea uh, for Tinker Taylor. It's just, he makes a game on TDSF. Oh, wait, that makes me go. Uh, <laughs> Metric Furlong, okay. the reason I said uh, that I, I suggested it be a everyone makes their first game would be to put Cory in the support role. She definitely has the advantage in game making. about the light. Okay, that means I can recover the one I exploded. Oh, man. Okay, Rock Pusher, if I am able to uh, to, to make a half-decent... No! Now, half-decent isn't the right word. If I can make a game that is worthy of being on Watch and Play, then yes, we will give it to, to Graham to inflict upon Alex. We're complicating this. Of course I am. Um. Oh, no. That's yep. right. That's why I needed to do the things the way I was doing them. Success! Well, <laughs> ever for <laughs> You win! <laughs> Groove on. It turns out the plot in this isn't that, uh, that heavy. I mean, there's very few rhythm games where they are that heavy. Andrew would be a good person to bring on this. He does attend a lot of game jams. He puts on a lot of game jams as well. Actually, I'm not sure if those are exclusive terms. I'd have to ask him. Why isn't the coffee machine sucking me up? 
want it to? No, well, kind of, so I could redo that, but. Oh, if you want, there's like a pause button and ah. you just have to restart. Yeah. I, I did it once because I supremely goosed myself. <laughs> to stomp or not to stomp. Oh, he stomp. Tavina says, I miss Undead Napoleon versus Dancing Thief Idol. God, I want a sequel to that. Uh, I, that's pretty, I forgot. That's now I want a sequel. Second on my list of things I, I want a sequel look, for. I should look and see if that Tumblr still exists. The one that is like every day. Hey, did you know Rhythm Thief still doesn't have a sequel? <laughs> that's a good Tumblr. I mean, it's not, but it's a thing that like I would do. Honestly, there's... I would settle for a... Uh, oh, for no. Oh, no. I wasn't watching Coffee Machine. You got sucked up. Yeah, I would be... Uh, I'd be hit... At this point, I'd be happy with a, another Chopin Resurrection of Music sequel. No. Oh. No, I was the accidentally tiny. doing well. I just like that whenever the uh, the security guard notices us, it looks like he's about to tell us that we didn't, don't understand the end of Evangelion. Oh, actually... <laughs> no one's going I just, back. I just noticed the sliding on of like the one, two, three, four. It's really good. Oh? When the level starts, when you start the level. Oh yeah, yeah. It's, it's like one, two, three, four. Like, it's really, it's really nice. It's Mon really good. <laughs> Mongolian throat dubstep. Uh, I wasn't around yesterday, so Ian, did you guys get the crap shot with the masturbation euphemisms one done? Maybe? I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say. I mean, they wrote them all on the crapshoot. Yeah. So, chat knows they exist. But it's a question of when they're going to be produced, right? I mean, they're just asking if you got it done. <laughs> like, if you filmed it. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, we did. Gonna let him tell me about the end. <laughs> no way! Let me tell you about Evangelion. There's a lot of symbolism, and the robots are kind of creepy when they smile. <laughs> and they smile? <laughs> okay, no, they do. Ava001 grins at one point. And in very early on in the show, and it's burned into my memory because its, it's grin reminded me of the guy I had a crush on, which totally put me off of him in high school. They grin. One of them grins at one point, and it's creepy, and I didn't like it, and then there was a whole person I couldn't like anymore. Because creepy. I don't know how to get out of here. Um, you have to get on the... Yeah, you would have to get behind him and go around so you could go all the way up. Mm -hmm. you, you managed to get into a circular thing. Now, Rockford, the takeaway is I stopped liking him when I realized he was a robot that could kill everything. Me. Damn it. No way, frogman. <laughs> yeah, that's a 
rough one. I don't think I'm gonna get it. You know what? Do F I this. have to head donk the guard? Can you do that? Yeah, you might have to head Donk the Guard. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to think what in the pattern where you would do that. Because that searchlight makes a, yep. a bit of an issue. No, I, I got this. No, I had it. There's there's several loops there where this will work. Oh. Okay, no. I, I think I get what you're putting down. It's just very precise in what you have to do for this in order to get everything. Yeah. Yeah. No, your timing has to be spot on. And I was I was actually way too early on that. there when he's over there so that you're still going the right direction to get the timing out. There we go. bit of a slog. We got it. Did well. <laughs> oh, and actually, now might be a good time for us to take a quick break, given it is oh, that time. Oh, yeah, we should do that. Yeah, so we're going to take a commercial, uh, and we'll see you guys on the other side of it. Don't go away for more Rhythm Cafe after this. Welcome back to the Rhythm Cafe. Yeah, this is spooky music, ain't it? Light a a ding dong, basement number ten in the mansion of clocks. <laughs> this is very spooky music. Mm hmm But um I can't take you seriously when you read the title of it. <laughs> Light a a ding dong! Hey, it's Junk235 with 30 months of resub under their belt. Woo. Thanks so much for subbing Junk. I'm just gonna start this game. <laughs> Don't get sucked up in a coffee machine. Well, it looks like I can't. That's because it's a level about lighting. And Hunter Prime has subscribed for seven months in a row. Thank you, Hunter Prime. No, we never give up <sighs> until Tavina later. Says, Tavina says you can't bonk the junk. All right. Fast chew mode. I was expecting maybe a little... A frog? Well, maybe a little actual story. Or a tutorial. I don't know what I was expecting. Yeah, nothing, There's no door here. Okay. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Oh. 
no. Wait. No. No! I didn't think this through! Uh, no. No. Yeah, how is this supposed to work? How did you get that one behind you? Oh, right. You need to the go stairs. across there because... I just... I... I goofed it. <laughs> Wait, that was a wall. That's a wall. No. That means uh okay, fine. I understand what it means, but I don't didn't want that to be a wall. I think that's safe to restart if you want to. No, I'm okay. Well, oh. please, 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 please thank you. Hmm. Oh. No, I'm supposed to go that. Baron's Media says, the player looks very splatoonish. Yeah, I can see that definitely as a squid. Oh, whoops. Okay. Busted! Bust a groove. Rhyme? Time? Rhyme time! On the rhyme time drive time. You on QWRP FM. that rhyme time already happened today. Chet, Chet, you don't know what you're talking about. This is the first stream <laughs> of the day. Yo, Baron, I can dig it. Uh, the Baron Samity 23 chose a number that rhymes with Samity. No! Darn it. Okay, well, I'm not going after that clock yeah. now. You proved that you could have. Now you don't have to. Flag clock! The one that always says that it's lunchtime! So we took Hungry Lady's clock, is what you're saying. There are like the 20 minute clocks this chapter. It's enough to play a new Shadow stage! Oh, uh, we can go to the Shadow Realm? Yeah, we're gonna go back to the Shadow Realm. Into the Shadow Realm. Locked! Oh, that's. Okay. Shadow Basement 1. Carrot clock. Oh, I see. So this is a Night Watch book, is it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is easy! Oh no, I lost! One, they're like, mm. yeah, I was hearing saxophone myself, but well, it's fine. I don't know what a saxophone sounds like. <laughs> Could be. Shit. Um, that light is not going off. <laughs> nope. <laughs> well, I kind of thought you might light up. Like, me too. Like, like the shadow would go away. Oh, I see. Uh, well, Beef Pants, in Shoot. the part of Canada that we're in, it's 5.30, but we have a few time zones over Canada, so it depends where in Canada you're looking. A few plus one in Newfoundland. Well, because Newfoundland's like half an hour? Yep. But that's one of the things that always shows up on Canadian uh, 
national uh, networks. So I'll talk about uh, starting at 12 o'clock, 12.30 in Newfoundland. Hmm. Yeah, it sounds like a bad saxophone, that's what I'm thinking of. Oh. Well, I've definitely never heard a bad saxophone. <laughs> sounds a lot like that. No! Sneaky. <laughs> Awkward fart dot sex. That's what you read. Robotic stomp. Ooh. Oh, there's gonna be so many coffee machines. <laughs> okay. Well. I'm afraid if I go down, the coffee machine is just gonna come and get me. I think I screwed this up already. Give it a try. Uh, yeah, I needed it to. Yeah, because you can't jump forward and let it touch. Yeah, under that hole. Perfect. bad now. Yeah. I needed that further over. Okay, hover doesn't currently offer .sax domains. However, you can't get awkwardfart.ca for $14. No. God, there's a lot of awkward farts that you can buy. Socially awkward distant sax.com. as possible. The problem is I need this guy like right under here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... But I don't think I can do that because if you... How do I... He won't react until I'm under him. Yeah, so if you drop down here, we'll bring this guy over because you won't need him until later. And you can always bring him back on the other side. Mm -hmm. Then you can drop down here and pull him over. Then go back up. Drop down... Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I think that'll work. Oh. No. no, I think I get what you're saying, though. Ah. For 
shit on timing. Oh, beef pants, you get a timeout for reminding me of real media. Ugh. I wonder if uh, Paul, when he was saying that he only got so far in the game, was trying to get everything and not just speed run. At this point, you just drop right down both holes. Nice! Yeah. And then don't forget to pull over coffee number one, one more space. Yeah. I was really freaked out that the thing was gonna move and drop me down, and I'd have to like reset everything up. Ah. <laughs> Let us groove up on to chapter two, which is locked. No, chapter three. Chapter three, Rhythm o Porter Experiment. The, the first. first. <laughs> I like that you made it sound like a name. Oh, Welcome teleporters. To Welcome to technology world. Everything is technology. Bad Panda Bear has resubscribed for two months in a row. Bad Panda Bear is also technology now. <laughs> Welcome back to the three. Hacking and research. Sparky devices are teleporters. They're currently connected through rhythm. Oh, so you can go to different ones depending on where they're going to spark. Interesting. Which is only a problem because policeman. I like that he can't see you falling in front of him, though. That's good. Uh, Sparky, when you make a clip, it automatically goes into, uh, the suggestions for highlights. And those get sorted by the mods, and then because you know duplicates and, and whatever, and then those get taken out here, and then Kate generally goes through them uh, and mix them into the highlight reel. So all you had to do was make the clip. Your job is done. Ah. Trying to fancy it up at speed. Well, yeah, it keeps away. I think Kathleen is in charge of highlights this month while she's gone. Yep, no, you don't need to post them into the chat. It's all good. One clock already, due to bad rhythm. Is your rhythm bad? Here's how you can tell. Is there a lack of clocks in your house? Well, then you probably have bad rhythm. <laughs> I myself have no clocks at home. 
Hey, Sarah. Graham said he'd be doing them. I mean, there are people who can edit. There will be people who will do them. Someone will do them. They will be oh, all, all right. They will still show up. And, uh, wow, yeah, you really can catch yourself in that corner, can't you? Mm -hmm. um, there, there will still be highlights over the live shows. Guaranteed. It's one of our most popular things we do, so guys, don't worry about nothing. I mean, we, we also enjoy watching them, so. Yeah. That's how you know they're one of the most popular things. Well, because we... I think what the one... The, the one week we didn't show highlights was due to uh, the, the April episode, and we just showed them at the end. Yeah. And then there was another week where we didn't have stuff, and I think we just put them together and put them up anyway. That one time. But they, they've almost always been done. No way! I'm doing this! I'm getting all the clocks. Oh yeah, that's the other thing about clips. If you could at least name them. It really helps everyone it's, involved. It's helpful. Um, Bear and Samity, uh, Cory and I have played Patapon. I think two or three yep. times? Uh, we've not completed it because it got kind of overly grindy for the stream. But I really do like it. I want to finish that game at least on my own. Yeah, there we go. It. Don't face the lights. <sighs> oh you no. You got to moonwalk. I'm willing to bet that facing the lights makes them turn on. Or it's gonna be like one of those mechanics. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Bacon Fork says they're playing Magic Online while listening and everything they're doing has a rhythmic quality to it. I've, I've been gotten into those situations too. Do not clock yourself out, by the way. Because of rhythm. It's okay. Fever time? Oh, Patapon fever time. <laughs> I've been playing way too much Yakuza 0. In that game, you get to manage a, a hostess club, and if you get to a certain amount of uh, money earned per minute, then you can enter fever mode, and that makes your guests even more generous. Buzz, so it's only between those two and these two from the What if you bit. go on to that teleporter facing the other direction? The oh, one that you're on maybe. right now. Okay. Like maybe that's what it means by not facing the lights, is that you shouldn't face the lights when they're when you're on the teleporter? I don't know. Let's find out. Okay, that didn't help much at all.
Yeah, they're not. I don't know where to go. Porter's reverse order on the loop. Hmm. Huh. Goodbye, Sharky. And good luck with the cleaning. But then I should be able to just stand in the same teleporter for long enough and eventually move, right? Like... Ah, shoot. Wait, I was facing the wrong way. Oh, it's a timing deal. If you get onto it during the other beats, it will go to the right. Yeah, if you get on it for the first one, it should send you to that other one that you don't want to be on. But if you stay on it, it will go take you to the top right. So I want to get on this one, yeah. but not facing this direction. I know, the direction's fine. You just want to get on now? And now. Yeah, stay. Get off! <laughs> <laughs> but now you, you, you get the yeah, way to work I now? Yeah, I think I get it. Yeah, okay, good. I see where you're supposed to. Yeah, get back on that platform. Get back on the platform to the left. The far left, and then come back facing the. Okay, wait here. So get on the yellow platform, then, and then right after the second buzz, you want to jump back on. Now. Oh. So that would have been the time to hit it. Like, if I'm facing this way, I can go up that, I just don't go in there, so I can get that one. So I do want to actually be facing this way. Mm -hmm. That's, yeah. I knew what I needed to do, I was just having problems doing it. Stressful. What do we got going on here left? How old? We're in chapter oh, three. three. The it's, of... it's supposed to be ten levels per chapter, that's not including bonus. So we've got about thirteen. No, seventeen. Hmm. 
No! Oh, that's always the worst. That's a light. I can't go in those, right? one was seemed a little easy. Don't complain, my turn will be harder <laughs> then. <laughs> Your turn was a lot worse last time. No shadow stage. You're forgetting the shadow stage. You know, Yu-Gi-Oh would have been so much more interesting if all the games had been rhythm-based <laughs> puzzles in the shadow realm. It's time to do 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 beep 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 beep. <laughs> Dad side switch mash. Oh. New mechanic, probably. No, it's just teleporters and switches. Mm. And guard band. Yeah, Fader, there was there was a guy who beat Dark Souls using the DDR pad, but I believe there's also a, a guy who beat Dark Souls using the Donkey Konga Konga drums. In my mind, that's pretty top tier. Was the worst. Don't like these fellow furries at all. I didn't want that clock anyway. level harder by complaining that it was too yep. easy. I am completely at fault for this one. No, I'm not moving fast enough. Mm. I'm afraid of getting caught in the teleporter though.
Yep. But you can also use that teleporter to take you down to get that clock, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see it. Apparently there's a guy named uh, who played Winston in Overwatch by wiring a bunch of bananas together and to a computer to probably act like a keyboard. <laughs> It looks like the Makey Makey is uh, just a, a, a joystick emulator of anything, and there's something on the site there for uh, a banana keyboard, like musical keyboard. What I find interesting about uh, the Diva joysticks is that uh, the way that she moves them for, for uh, motion really reminds me a lot of the... Uh, the motion that you'd use to control the robots in, uh, oh, what is it, Virtual One, or uh, Gundam Kizuna Senju, the bonds of the battlefield. Incredible frown, we cannot climb downstairs. We're like cows in this game. Hitting. No! Oh. Mm. Get that back. a clock every time you miss hit. going on and I'm just like I'm you were super on the right track though which is the thing I had all of the claws yeah I just missed be that one beat and yep <sighs> okay. oh no that's not no I can't do it that way that I, that means I have to do so much more finagling that way That's the vibe I get from this, is night, night in the Woods. Thank you, Sleepy Ham. Oh! Aiko and Mog says that you only lose a clock if you miss a beat and the clock is still there. On the, on the same floor you're on. Right, yeah. No, but they did mention that. I 
Current savvy. I, 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 I don't think it's the wait a minute. I know you look so much as it. So the thing that you're missing about Batman versus Superman is. Um, if you understood nope. the actual nature of the original no, Voltron, you'd know why the remake is... Yeah. yeah. It's literally just an um-actually motion. Yeah, that's what I See, the thing is, for our character, I can't tell whether we've got, like, a kerchief on or just a really deep v-neck. And because of the aesthetics of the game, it could go either way. Completely, there was a remake Voltron, or a Voltron remake, and it was on Hulu, I believe. And it's apparently pretty good. I haven't had a chance to watch it myself yet, but there's a lot of the staff from uh, Avatar and The Legend of Korra on it. So, if you like the look of uh, of The Legend of Korra, you'll you'll love you some Voltron. No, no, I'm out. I'm out on this level. You're done. I'm done. Well, okay, let's let's get it. Because we know how. I'm to getting do it. too frustrated to make the thing work, and I'm just I'm out. You, we, we tell you were in serious mode there. Oh, this one looks easy. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> no. Good enough! <sighs> Are you ready to get back in this or do you want me to do another level? I'm good. We'll see how this level looks okay. like and then you can either know my pain or not. Oh, it's got stairs. <laughs> my problem wasn't the stairs. Again. I had this puzzle down and. You keep making it harder. I'm blaming the whole thing on you. I am retiring blame James and just going full blame Ian. That's that's fair on this stream. Hmm. Okay. Go up the stairs. Oh my goodness. Oh, this could be... Yep. Yeah, so I'm not sure about I feel satisfied with that. I haven't watched the Castlevania series, but I'm... Or, I, of course I haven't. It's not out. I haven't watched the trailer either, but... Oh, I've seen I've seen the, the poster art. Yeah, the poster art looks uh, pretty cool. looks pretty cool. But of the Netflix series I'm really excited for coming this year, uh, Gachama... Not Gachama. Devilman Crybaby. Looks like it's going to be... Mwah. Masayaka Yuasa. Saying Devil May Cry? No, no, Devil Man, Cry Baby, colon, Cry Baby. So, the, oh, everyone's okay. favorite 1970s series about a man who is actually the devil, but the devil is the good guy because he defeats evil because he was touched by the kindness of a man. Okay. I is just, back! It sounds like the kind of title that that we would make up. Yeah, as exactly. As opposed to being real. 
But it's being directed by my favorite director, Masaki Yuasa, who did Mind Game, Kamamusume, and episodes of uh, 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 Adventure Time. That's the one I wanted oh, okay. to mention. Everyone will know. And it's looking... It looks like he is a very good fit for this series. Beep. Okay. Okay. How are you supposed to get the one right here? I assume that we're gonna turn the life off. The life. The life. We're gonna turn the life off on that. Oh no! One. Wait, I see it. It's a switch. It'll make a platform. Hmm. Yeah. Of some sort. That would make more sense. I don't think you can turn lights off, or if you can, at least not yet. Yeah, that makes more sense. <laughs> oh, e Ekomog, no, th this show is not BL at all. Oh. It's, it is, if anything, uh, very tokusatsu style, uh, you know, Mazinger Z giant robot. You gotta get up to get down. You, you, you gotta get up to get down. Gotta, gotta get up. Gotta? Something you gotta know. <laughs> One thing about getting up, you gotta know. Uh, <sighs> yeah. Okay, when do I wanna take this stairs? Never. Pretty good today. We got a good let look going on, Sikiva. Thanks. Mm. I even corded my shoes. <laughs> yeah, that's the one thing, uh, Ikon Mog, that I was uh, tweeted about earlier today that, uh, Tokusatsu is is ridiculous, but everyone involved in it, like take everyone who's in the show and everyone who's act who makes the show takes it very seriously. But the, it's a seriousness that accepts and understands the the, uh, the ridiculousness. So it's it's kind of special that way. Me. Just realized if I fell and went and got after that clock, I'd have to do all the stairs again, <laughs> and I didn't really want to. <laughs> yep, G game is over. Sneaky! We got 10 minutes to speedrun the rest yeah. of the game. I think. Speedrun strats? Yes. Speedrun strats. Speedrun. All the way. 100%. Uh, Reiner, the sh I wasn't talking about a show in particular when I was talking about Tokusatsu. That just refers to anything that's the Power Rangers is based on, or uh, Kamen Rider, Super Sentai, Ultraman, and specifically the show that is an anime is going to be Devilman Crybaby. Dug.
Boom. Yep. Speed run. Yep. Loving it. Shut a task. Shut a task. Labrador. No. <laughs> you are on. You are on notice game. For that Labrador wow. pun. Sorry, just like shut a shut ta tastic is such a rough word. Shut a tastic. Shut a ta 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 tastic. I can't make my mouth do that. Shut a ta ta. Mm, coffee machines are back. I need you to cut any oh. good kaiju anime. Oh, I gotta get green switch. Oh, so I have to turn around. I can't go up. All right. I don't know any good kaiju anime, uh, but just there's plenty of kaiju content out there. Um, probably what you want is oh, no. check out Ultraman. Because that's probably the closest thing in terms of spirit to kaiju series that's a series. But yeah, Attack, Attack on Titan probably counts as a kaiju anime. No! Oh, alright. Uh, uh. work. Okay. And so you many, got some, so many switches. And you got some clocks. Yeah. Getting clocks, avoiding dudes. Getting clocked. This is I mean, no. Cold no. clock and dudes. Wow. No. This, is, this is a no. great Friday night for you. Avoiding dudes and get, getting clocks. Now no. we're cold clock and dudes. No. And that's, uh... No. 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 Also, it's Sunday. <laughs> we're doing the time push and pull. No, we're not. <laughs> Don't do the time warp again. Ever. Here's a switch. Oh, that's an interesting switch that turned everything off. Oh, it's a timer. It makes all the stuff go away. Makes me forget where the clocks are. Oh, well, yeah. That would have been very easy if I'd remembered where I was going. Yep, you gotta do it right. <laughs> Does anyone remember the Ultraman series from the mid 90s, which was filmed in Australia and sponsored by Sega? Wow, that sounds amazing. Button symphony. Oh no. I'm afraid of what that means. Uh. Uh. Okay. Sure. Start by going up. And thanks to these clocks, I don't get to say this enough, but it is everywhere. Hey, it clock. works out. Hey, great. Good thing there's no shadow levels on this level. <laughs> right, rhythm will pour to. Rhythm of Portadelic Port Port Time Stopping. Zawardo! Uh. Perfect! Bam! <laughs> so good that at this was... game. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Beat 
step stopper. game ever yeah. and this is why I don't collect trophies folks <laughs> you have a lot more fun with the game <laughs> time stop popping if you're not popping and locking then you got time stopping you know what I say Going to die. <laughs> I've ruined everything again. This as well. <laughs> Alright, the correct way is to do it the way I was, which is not the way I'm doing it now. Oh, hey, worked out. And done. Got there. Three, two, one, and boom! Yeah. Yep, not, not saying anything that I thought of right there. <laughs> None of it. Well, I, I completely missed what it was saying. The title of the thing said gap guarding. Yeah, keep going! <laughs> keep going and do not say words. <laughs> Don't say Rain Moth asks, Ian, in the spirit of randomness, what's your favorite anime IP? That's a single question, but I'll make it okay by roping Heather into this as well. Uh, jeez. So I'll give two answers, because that's the name of the game. Um, I was kind of thinking about this, that this morning, about how amazing Nichi Joe is as an opening theme, the, both the music and the, uh, the animation itself. But, oh, uh, One Punch Man and Mob Psycho 100 were both really good. I think Kimono Zume, myself, is one of my favorites uh, for visuals and especially for music. But the, uh, I'll give what I think is the real answer after you give your answer. What am I answering? What's your favorite anime OP? I... No, <laughs> I'm not answering that. It's a great passage, isn't it? It's pretty good. Actually, right now it's probably the um, uh, second opening for Little Witch Academia, oh, yeah. uh, Mind Conductor, oh. which is on iTunes now. That song is... Uh, it's by uh, all, all of the songs that, that have been in Little Witch Academia for openings and endings and stuff have been by uh, the same person. Great! Uh, Yurika. And she has a bunch of stuff on on the Canadian iTunes store. So we can find I, and I and it makes I me so happy. Subscribe to Apple Music. I need to get those and heart them to influence my updates. I have Torian suggested Witch Hunter Robin, which is really good as well. Yeah, I remember that one. Uh, but yeah, oh god, the second OP to Little Witch is full of so much foreshadowing. It's so delicious every time. Uh, what I was going to suggest is that you check out uh, the YouTube channel Mother's Basement. Spelled as it said, Mother's Basement. Uh, the guy there, Jeff Thu, out of Vancouver, he basically does his, his bread and butter is doing commentary on uh, anime OPs. 
he and he's... did just... He, which one did he just do? I know I saw somebody talk about it. I'm not sure. He did something. But he, yeah, he keeps putting stuff out a lot. And he's very good at what he does. If you want a, an actual filmatic examination of anime themes and what makes a good anime theme, check, uh, check yeah. him out. Well, because he goes to the, the, yeah, the animation of it as well. Yeah. He does a great breakdown, and it's one of my favorite uh, video of the various JoJo's Bizarre Adventure OBs. And there was a lot more in those than I thought there was. I'm expecting cages in this one. It said the groove can't be locked up in mm -hmm. a cage. Well, I think one way or another. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> nope, that's fine. I mean, I like a lot of different anime openings, which is why I'm like, right now I know I'm just obsessed with Mind Conductor, because I, I want to listen to that song 100% of the time. Uh, the first opening's really good too, though. I have that one on my phone right now, because that, that was also up on iTunes. Hi! <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Madoko OP is really good too. <sighs> oh yeah, the Anohana What's an OP is also really good. Everything that he does is good. So far. <laughs> enough. That's a good plan. Actually, that's a better plan. Yes, it is. Just go forward. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Karashi Kanojuno Jijo and it's OP and ED were both real good back in the day. Beef pants. That's some. That's some good uh, pullback from the old in days. Um. I don't want to groove on. No, I don't. I'm done like, grooving. I'm not. I. I think this is a was, is a good game. I just don't want to play it anymore. Yeah. I don't think it's meant for long durations. No, it's this is definitely a waiting in line at the bank game. Um. Like if you want to get angry. <laughs> All right, let's shut it down for the day. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, it's been a hell of a lot of fun. Yeah, we can keep the music going, because why not? It's okay, music. And uh, yeah, if you like what you see, check out loadingreadyrun.com for all the great shows. Uh, oh, we have some things coming up that we can show people, right? Yeah. Tomorrow at 10 a.m., uh, myself, Paul, James, maybe Graham, Graham and maybe Ben, We'll be uh, in here to watch the Worldwide Developer Conference stream from Apple. Mm -hmm. uh, that's 10 a.m. Uh, Pacific time. That will be followed up with Checkpoint at 10 1 p.m. That, 1 that's fun. There's a zero missing. Because at 10 a.m. you guys are doing your other thing, yeah. and at 10 p.m. no one's no, here. Nothing is happening. Uh, that's going Well, we can't guarantee that, but Graham Paul and Kathleen will be doing their video news mm -hmm. uh, parody show, which is really good. If you haven't checked it out, do so. Then at 6 p.m., it's Tinker Taylor's Solder Fry, where Ben Solyu from uh, Seattle will be joining me to put together a Naomi 2 arcade board. Yeah. And we're going to be uh, getting that up and running, ready to play with. So that's going to be exciting. And then Tuesday is New Day Tuesday. That's where a new game will be played. We don't know what it is. We don't know who's um, playing it. I believe James is playing a Telltale game. Oh and yeah, he's then, playing the Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, that new, one. Okay. The new chapter's coming um, out recently. And then there's been talks of Ben and I doing a thing, but we haven't it's solidified not, anything, so I have no idea. And anything out from there is too far to be. Well, too far for us to yeah. talk about. 
Um, thank you so much to everyone who subscribed here on Twitch.tv and for those of you who gave the bits. We really appreciate both those things. And in fact, I think we missed a couple things. We got uh, Riopez10, who cheered us with 88 bits. Mm -hmm. We got the jaw. Uh, we got, Hunter get... Prime, I believe we did miss. I think we did, and, and Bad Panda Bear as well. No, no, I got that one, oh, yeah. but they are still welcome. Yeah, we thank everyone who does that. And as well, also the people who help us out at patreon.com slash floating ready run. Keeps the lights on in general and all the happy times happening in front of you. Heather, is there anything you want to say? Um, no, because I have no idea what I'm doing this week. I really don't. I've got ortho things and all Ooh. kinds of stuff, so I, I might not be around for Monday either. Okay. Well, everyone wish Heather some good luck with the those things. So, you know, fun. I'm going to scratch my nose because it's quite itchy and, uh... <sighs> Braces. Yeah. But we'll see you guys next week with more Rhythm Cafe. We'll figure it out as it goes along. Yeah. Keep your eyes on the skies. By that, I mean the up next tab. Bye.